Hello everyone, I'm Alain Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Ruben and for today's lesson we have Truly by Lionel Richie. It sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, I'm going to break down the intro and also the first verse we have in the song. We're playing in the key of D flat, D flat major, and for the chords, we have first D flat sus 2, played up here. I have D flat and A flat, D flat, E flat, and A flat again. Then I'm going to take down this D flat by one half step to play D flat major 9. So that's the two chords we have for the intro. After that we have the verse starting on D flat major. Again on the left D flat and A flat, D flat and F. Then we have this F minor with C on the bass, C and A flat then C and F. Still going down, we have D flat 7 over B after that. B and A flat, B and F. Quickly followed by B flat 7. B flat and A flat, D and F. Then we're going to continue into the second part of the verse. It starts on E flat minor, E flat and B flat, E flat and G flat on top. Going down again, we have B flat augmented with D played on the bass. So D, B flat, D again, and G flat. Then D flat sus4. D flat A flat, D flat G flat. And we're going to end the verse playing those two chords. The first one is D flat with A flat on the bass, so A flat, A flat, D flat, and F. And finally, A flat major. Still the same note. A flat, and for the right hand I'm playing A flat and C. And that's the chords of the verse. Okay, once again, for the intro we have two chords. D flat sus2, and D flat major 9. Then for the verse, D flat, F minor over C, D flat 7 over B, and then B flat 7. Second part for the verse E flat minor, B flat augmented over D, D flat sus 4, then D flat over A flat, ending the section on A flat. Now, let me break down the intro. We have a very simple pattern. So, what we're going to do is play D flat sus 2 using the rolling effect, like this. 
Then we're going to replay the tap note twice, so A flat twice, and then play D flat major 9, still using the rolling effect. And then simply repeat. And that's what we're going to do to play the intro. Coming after that, we have the verse. Here's the first part. So, we're going to play D flat. I have D flat with F played at the same time. Then I have a back and forth. A flat, D flat, back to A flat. Okay. Then I have this melody line played on my right hand. That's G flat, F, E flat, back to F. Okay, and also after playing G flat, you're going to replay A flat, so the tap note on your left. Like this. Then we're going to use the same pattern over F minor with C on the bass, playing this way. So I'm starting with the root notes and the tap notes, so C and F. Then I have the back and forth. Now that's A flat C back to A flat. Then the melody line, G flat, F, E flat, back to F. And also here, after playing G flat, I'm going to replay the tap note on my left. That's again A flat. So from the top, coming up next, we're playing D flat seven over B. So the pattern is different. I have the root note with the top note, but after that, I'm playing A flat, B, E flat, A flat up here, then A flat, B, E flat. And after that, I'm playing this. So my B flat 7 chord, playing B flat and E flat first, then using my left, I'm gonna play A flat, then B, followed by F, and then D. And playing D, I'm going to replay the root notes, so B flat. from D flat over B. And that will end the first part of the verse. Let's play it again. Two, three, four.
now here's the second part. So, I played E flat minor. A similar pattern we used for D flat and also F minor over C. So, root note and tap note, E flat and G flat, then a back and forth between B flat, E flat, B and B flat again, sorry. followed by this melody line A flat, G flat, F and then G flat and also here after playing the first note of the melody line I'm going to replay the tap note on the left and now that's B flat okay then we have B flat augmented over B. Again, the same pattern. Tap note and root note. Then back and forth. B flat, now playing with D. Back to B flat. Play the melody line, the first note. The tap note on your left. Then continue. So from E flat once again. Okay, after that we have D flat as four. Very simple. Play D flat with G flat, then A flat, D flat. F resolving to E flat. Then, before going to the next one, I'm going to play a quick D flat, like so. Then, play this. So, I played D flat over A flat. Again here, root note and tap note at the same time. So A flat and F. Then A flat, D flat, F. And E flat again. Then back and forth. A flat, D flat, back to A flat. And then finishing the section of the verse, we have A flat major. I'm gonna play A flat and C, then play A flat on my right hand, D flat, be playing A flat, E flat, so the fifth, and then end with one D flat. So, let's play that again from D flat sus4. And now let's play the second part from E flat.
Okay, now let's play the entire verse from D flat. Two, three, four. So that's the end of the first part. Joining the two parts together, we're going to add one quick A flat. So after playing the B flat seven chord. So that's when we're going to play it. Then we have the second part. One more time. After that, we have G flat major 7 starting the chorus. Here's the recap. That's all for this part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you guys next week for another Euro.